Hi, my name is Jennifer Wilson, and I'm excited to be your statistics professor this semester. You may call me Professor Wilson or simply Jennifer, whatever is more comfortable for you. I've been teaching part-time at Middlesex Community College since 2015, and just about every semester I've had at least one section of statistics. It's a course that I'm passionate about, I love to teach, and I hope I can also inspire that enthusiasm in you this semester. The purpose of this video is to introduce myself, introduce you to the course, go over some of the policies, and get you started on our Blackboard site. We have some work to do before our first meeting on Wednesday, September 15th, so I want to make sure you know how to get started. So let's go to our Blackboard site. Once you're in Blackboard, you can look at your list of courses and you should see Fall 2021 Statistics. That's us. So you can click in and you'll see that you're immediately brought to our course content page. So every week when you log into Blackboard, you'll see a new module link set up for week one, week two, and so on, all the way up to our 15th week of class. So this week we have getting started in week one, which is September 9th to September 19th. It's actually a week and a half because um, the course starts in the middle of a week. So what I define a week as in this course is a Monday to a Sunday. So what you can expect from me is that by Friday of each week, I am going to release a new course module that is going to be for the next Monday through Sunday cycle. And I'll send out an announcement to you when it is available. Before we go over what's actually in the course content though, what I'd like to do is go over with you today everything on this left sidebar so you know how to navigate our course. You'll see this sidebar here, it's this great thing. It can go away if you click it, make your screen bigger, it can come back. But what's really most important about it is what we see here for items. First, we have our syllabus and course information. If you click into here, you'll see the syllabus and the course map. It's very, very important that you read these thoroughly. And I also recommend um, saving them or printing them out so you have them for reference during the course. Right now, we're gonna look at the syllabus. Our general information, our course meeting times are Wednesdays, 6 to 8.45 p.m. And our first meeting is on Wednesday, September 15th at 6 p.m. All of our meetings will occur via Zoom. In the meantime, since we don't meet for a while, uh, the best way to contact me is through my email, wilsonj at middlesex.mass.edu. If you want to have a face-to-face -face appointment, we can do that via Zoom. That's fine. I'd love to answer your questions. So if you want to schedule a Zoom meeting with me, just in your email, state a couple of different times that you're available and we'll try to arrange something. So I know some people have tough schedules where maybe you can make it to our meetings, maybe you can't. Maybe you can make a Zoom appointment with me, but maybe that's something you're not comfortable with. For extra help, I'm fine with communicating via email with you. If you email me with your questions, I'll respond to you in a typed response, a uh, written work, or a lot of times students have preferred video explanations where I'll make a short YouTube video and send it to you to help you get in the right direction on your problem or answer your question. So I always say, please allow me 24 hours for a quality response, but generally I'm a lot quicker than that. I'm going to let you read through the course description and credit policy hours on the syllabus. Um, but I wanna go down to required materials. You're required to have a TI-83 or TI-84 plus graphing calculator for this class. We use a lot of calculators and um, we're going to choose to use calculator skills over formulas wherever possible. That way we can do less tedious calculations and we can focus more on the interpretation of our numbers. So it's important that you have a TI-83 or TI-84. If you choose to use a different calculator, you'll be responsible for the methods used there. But I'll be handing out a calculator packet or distributing, I should say, a calculator packet in the second week of class that we'll be referring back to. And I'll go over the calculator skills for these two calculators. Um, but we'll be using them extensively starting in the second unit. Now, if a calculator is something that um, might be a financial burden for you, the bookstore does have um, calculators or vouchers for calculators for those who qualify for financial aid. Also important to this class, all of our meetings, like I said, are on Zoom. You can't um, just click on a meeting link though, you must be an authenticated user, meaning that you have a Zoom account. So make sure you have a Zoom account with your MCC email um, and you're logged in to attend meetings, SI sessions, or one-on-one -on -one meetings with the professor. That's very, very important. The most important thing you can do before our meeting on the 15th 
is to log in to Pearson MyLab. So when you signed up for this course, your tuition covered the cost of your um, text materials. And we have an e-text uh, through Pearson MyLab. Now I am on page three of your syllabus. This box here has our directions for getting into Pearson MyLab. This is where you'll not only access the text, but all of your homework and your tests are also on Pearson MyLab. It's important that you log in um, through Blackboard the first time you do it, and you should only access Pearson through our Blackboard site because they are linked. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Pearson MyLab on our left sidebar. You are going to enter your Pearson account and password account links if you have them. If you don't, because you've never used a Pearson course, you'll create your own. And then um, you're going to follow the prompts and it will eventually ask you to enter a code. This is the code in purple here. So that's what you'll do. And once you've done that, you're, you're done. You may have to close your browser and log back in again for your settings. Um, but after that, you are all set to use Pearson. Back on our content page, when I say Pearson My Lab, it's over here in the tools on the sidebar. You'll click that. And then you can click any one of these first four links to get you started in registering. It will prompt you to log in. And then that's where you'll be um, using your Pearson account or creating a Pearson account, and then it will prompt you to put in a code, and that's the one that's located in the syllabus. Please um, sign up or link with Pearson as soon as possible and email me if you have any trouble at all. You're not required to get a hard copy of the text, but I did put in the syllabus here the textbook information so you know the title of the book and whatnot, Elementary Statistics 14th Edition by um, Marty Triola. I'll let you look closely at the technical requirements for this course. You know, you want to have a reliable source of internet and a reliable to device to work on. Um, but one thing I do want to point out to you is that Office 365 is avail available for free to all MCC students. And I put a link here with more information about that. So you should be using Office 365 like to open any PowerPoints or Word documents or um, that I send you because then we know that it will be compatible. And that's an important thing when you're talking about math language because not all programs will translate the math symbols the same. So I highly recommend um, looking into that free um, Office 365 for MCC students. And if you have trouble or need any help desk um, assistance, here's the information for that. I'm going to let you read over the rest of the syllabus before the 15th because a lot of the things I'm going to touch on in the remainder of going over our Blackboard page will address syllabus items. Under the syllabus area, we also have our course map, and this is another item I recommend that you print out. And you can see it's a breakdown of what we do in class week by week. This will help you to know our learning objectives, but also um, you can plan your life because you'll know when you have a heavy week, when you have items due. So I highly recommend keeping that for reference. The next item on our sidebar is the course content. And once again, this is where the course opens to, but if you ever lose it, you can click on it on the left sidebar. And this week we have getting started in week one and I'll do week two, week three, I'll roll out the weeks on um, by Friday of the week before um, for the following week long, Monday through Sunday. Um, will be what it normally is. This week's a little different. I'm going to close this sidebar so we have some more space. And every week when you go into your new module, you'll have a weekly overview. And this is directly from our course map. It might change depending on if our course plan has to change. And what you'll usually see is a weekly overview, prepare to meet, finish the week, and check. And this week we have getting started because we have introductory materials to our course. So it's a little bit different. Um, so what you'll do is you'll look at your weekly overview and then normally you'll go to prepare to meet and you'll click on that and they'll have some instructions and what you can do is you can click to the next item in the module by clicking the arrow to the right over here on the side or you can click down to the next item. So this week since we have getting started we'll look at our getting started instructions and then what you need to do is you need to look at the introductory video you're in it right now. Um, the syllabus, the course map, and then you'll have a discussion to complete. To get to a discussion, you can press here and it, you can click to launch. Another way to get to your discussion is to go on the sidebar to discussion board under tools. 
And you'll see that we have our discussion listed and I've put a post there. And at the very top of it, it says how to complete a discussion post. You'll wanna click that link first so you can learn how to complete a discussion post. And every week you'll have a discussion where you need to put your initial post by Wednesday of the week or try to at least, and then do your post to appear, read over your peers and respond to them by Sunday of that same week. Because of the interactive nature of the posts, um, I don't accept discussions after the Sunday due date. It's okay if your initial post is a little bit late in the week, but after Sunday, I don't accept them. But with that said, you only have to do 10 of the 13 posts for the whole semester. Also in our getting started folder, we'll have an SI introductory slideshow. And this is from Leah, our SI supplemental instructor for this course. She's a former student of mine and she'll be sitting in on our classes and she'll be here to help, but also she'll be holding basically group study sessions a couple of days a week. So it's an awesome opportunity for you to get extra help and to reinforce your skills in this class. So I hope you all take advantage of this extra tool that we have. In addition to our getting started, we also have our normal prepare to meet items. So before Wednesday, the 15th class, you have some items that you need to do. So first, you're going to look over a PowerPoint presentation and fill out guided notes for section 1-1, which is on statistical and critical thinking. And then it also says to click on the Pearson MyLab homework. Remember, Pearson MyLab is in their toolbar right here. And when you go to all my assignments, you'll find the 1.1 homework there. You can just get started on that. It's due the 19th, but you must do the guided notes. And then the same, there are two videos and some guided notes for section one, two. This is a little bit shorter. And then you can get started on the one, two homework, though it's not due the night until the 19th, but you must do the guided notes before our meeting so we can be prepared. And then finally, please print or access the 1.3 data collection PDF notes so that you're prepared for our meeting. You don't have to do the PowerPoint, though I did put it there in case you're a person that's going to miss the meeting um, so that you have them for reference. After our weekly meeting, you'll go back to the module to finish the week and you'll read the instructions here and then you can access my lab all assignments either within the module or you can go to the left sidebar in the discussion. There's how to submit a written assignment and then there's a chapter one assignment to work on. At the end of every module, I'll put a check. Did you turn in your assignments? What was due? What you're working on? And a reminder here. Your goal for the homework is to have it 80% at least by the due date. You can work on them throughout the semester. And when it comes to a unit test, if you have 80% or better on each of your homeworks for that unit, you can retake the test one time. Now that we've gone over how to go through our course content, I wanna go over some of the other sidebar items. You can define your assignments right here. This is for written assignments. Um, they're also going to be posted in the module, but sometimes we work on them more than one week, so it's helpful to have them on the sidebar. I'll try to archive our materials each week by chapter. So we have our chapter one materials. And under tools, we've already talked about Pearson My Lab and our discussion board, but to get to a meeting, you're going to press Zoom and you'll click statistics with Professor Wilson and join. That's for meetings and it's for one-on-one -on -one meetings as well. If you miss a class, you'll go to cloud recordings and there will be a list of our recorded items um, right there for you. Communication is important. So um, I'll be sending at least one announcement each week and you'll receive it via email, but those announcements to the whole class will also live right here under announcements. You can contact me um, via email and my email is here when you press this link, but also, I strive to have an inclusive classroom environment where you all feel safe and comfortable so you can be a successful learner. But I know that there are always ways to grow and improve. So if you have any feedback for the class or say if something happens in class that you're not comfortable with, it could be with me or another student, or it could be with the material, you're always welcome to either email me directly or I also have a link here for anonymous feedback. So this leads to a Google form um, where you can type in your feedback to let me know and I'll look at it and review it and take action as necessary. There's an option here for you to put your name in case you do want a follow up conversation, but you can also submit in a totally anonymous way. The goal is for everyone to have a safe environment where we all feel included. Finally, under personal, you can check out your grades for this class and a calendar for your personal items um, and your other courses in this course, all combined on one calendar. 
Also under help, there are resources for helping with Blackboard, but also resources around Middlesex Community College that can help you be successful.